Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. One very common problem we find ourselves in our day-to-day -day working sheet is that we have two tables that we want to combine, but these two tables have different columns or different positions of the columns. I'm going to show you today how to mix them, consolidate them, combine them in just one sheet with a couple of very simple formulas. So let's see it in action. I have one sheet for my sales in 2023 and one sheet for my sales in 2024 and you can see that they have different sizes this has eight columns this has six columns and the positions are different the product name here is in a the product name here is in d and it happens the same with all of them so i'm going to show you different ways and different formulas to combine them depending on your need there may be two or three methods and we could even include new data for example here i added uh, year 2023 and year 2024 that you can see that here we don't have it. So I added with uh, the help of some of our formulas. I know you're going to love it, but before we begin, let's, let me thank you for watching and a special thanks to all of my patrons that talking about that. If you want to go to a Patreon page, you can download this and more than almost 200 templates. So no more intro, let's begin. So what I want to do today is combine two different tables. I have this table in sheet about sales 2023 and these tables in sheet 2024 about sales in 2024. What is the problem with these two tables that there are the columns are in different places and the size is different. Here I just have six columns and here I have eight columns. And the date, for example, in 2024 is in column A and here is in column C and the customer name here is in column B and here is in column C. So how do I match them? in an easier way just with a formula so that then I could use it to create reports or things like that. So let's do a combine sheet where I'm going to consolidate both tables. So the first thing I'm going to use, there are plenty of ways of doing this. We're going to start with, to start with a simple one called VStack that basically just combines two tables. So I'm going to select all of this table and then all of this table. You can see here that I'm not taking into account that both are different. Here, this is a six column range and this is an eight column range. I'm going to click enter. And the nice thing about BStack is that it automatically calculates where there is an error and where there is no match, but it does not give me an error without showing me anything. So this is not what I want, but at least it shows me an idea of what I want. To get what I want, I need to select some columns. Given that here I have six and here I have eight, for example, here there is no product uh, customer ID. So I shouldn't use customer ID because in the first table, there is no customer ID. The other thing I need to, to choose is what column do I have first, do I need first? Let's say we're going to select first the product name, okay? For this, we're going to use the formula choose calls. As the name implies, we're just going to choose the columns we want. So if we're going to start, I, I said the product name, but let, let's start with the date. We're going to start with the date. So I'm going to choose row column number three. That is the date for my column for my first table. OK, so here it's bringing column, the first column. Perfect. Then I'm going to bring customer ID. I don't want the customer ID. so. In my other table, I also going to use choose calls. And let's start with number one, that is the date. And now I have a nicer, because now I'm combining two one column tables. So let's choose the next column. The next column will be the customer name that in my first table is column number two. So comma two. In my second table is column number three. So comma three perfect starts making sense now let's do now the product name that in my first table is column one and in my second table is column four now let's do a quantity price and total cost that here is four five and six and in the other one is one two three four five five, six, and seven. 
and now it is okay pretty easy however i have here my this header very easy to remove we're just going to my second table will be starting on two that's it very easy and one additional thing we could do is to convert this to a table here this will be sales 2023 and also here we could just click format and then convert to table and this will be sales 2023 now i'm going to copy this and call this combine tables it's similar but the nice thing about the tables is that i'm going to change this and i'm going to choose my table just choose all your table without the all because i don't well actually i will show you why this all may be useful and here also i could do it very easily just start typing sales and here are the names of my table i'm going to choose sales 2024 let's hit enter and the nice thing about this compared to this is that this is bound to a row but if my tables start to grow then this won't work anymore but this will this is a dynamic range so it will always if i have 11 12 13 14 rows this will always work okay uh, now is where the all here i want at least one header so this is where using this all is useful so i have the header without the all is just the data without the header with including the all is the header so i'm going to include all just on the first table not on the second and if you want to do three and four and five just use the same a comma choose calls with the next table and that's it very easy i'm going to show you another method that is more flexible and you could do much more things that is with the query function okay so let's call our query function and we're going to start with 2023 again i could use my table notation with the all and hit enter okay now i'm going to choose my columns again let's do the same as here very similar to this first the, the row three two one four five and six okay for this i'm going to use the select clause inside quotation marks i'm going to write could be on all caps on or or it does not matter but i prefer to do it all caps let's do select we need to do call three call two call one and call six that's it and it's the same outcome and now down here i'm going to do another query very similar with our sales 2024 i could do it with all no problem at all let's hit comma and then select i don't remember which are the dates one three four five six seven one three four five six seven sales i don't know why i choose sales 2023 again let's choose sales 2024 okay perfect now i have it and now we're going to combine them we could use the same vstack no problem at all so i'm going to copy this let's do vstack and then i'm going to show you why this is a bit more flexible let's hit comma alt enter and then i'm going to copy the other one and that's it i'm going to delete this one now i have it if you don't want this other header you could do it remove the uh, the all selector so i don't have my head perfect why do i prefer this method even if it's a bit more complex because first you could do filters for example you could filter by product by date so each of the two tables you could do filters and you could do more advanced combinations and the second thing is that i could add new columns easily for example you could do combinations for example if you didn't have let's say one the the cost in dollars for example so i could do 
call six times. Let's say this is in dollars and I want it in Canadian dollars. So I'm going to multiply by one comma four point four. Okay, and easy as this. So and let's call this here label and my call six times 1.4 I'm going to call it cat okay and I could do the same in the other one but this is not called six but called seven so call seven times 1.4 label well the label does not matter actually because I'm not showing the headers okay now I have this problem that it automatically adds uh, this label so I could do another filter at the end to remove these unwanted um, rows but the other nice thing is that I could add also text for example I know this is 2023 so maybe I want uh, a field that says year 2023 or imagine that this is countries you have one for Canada one for the US so here you want to write Canada and in the other one you are you want to write US so I'm going to add a new field here just by putting in quotation marks your comma quotation marks and let's say year 2023 and you have it here okay and the same for the other one so I could do comma in quotation in simple quotations year 2024 and I could do this I could also do this with a label so that it looks better so I took it comma and then the year 2023 I'm going to call it well that year 2023 okay or actually year so now I want to remove uh, this. So we're going to include my, quer my query inside another query, my VStack inside another query, a very simple query that will just have where column one is not known. Just to remove this bug, okay? And that's it. And you could include in inside this VStack however many queries you want. If you have four or five tables you want to combine, you'll do it this way. It may seem a little complex and maybe you, it's, maybe there are other methods to do it a bit more easily, but when you have tables with different columns, this is particular, this VStack shoes calls is an easy way out for combining those tables. I hope it's useful. See you next time.